Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anissa, I am the crafty author, and welcome to my quilting studio. I thought it would be kind of fun today just to do like a little walkthrough and show you some things that have changed here in the quilting studio um, that I haven't been able to share with you. So I'm gonna flip the camera and we're just gonna kind of walk around. Now, don't mind me because it is very messy in this room. And so I have not had a chance to really clean things up. So <laughs> let me just go ahead and flip the camera and then we'll get started. Okay, so here's where all the work gets done. As you can see, this is my desk. It's kind of a mess right now. Um, and then here is my cute little sewing is my therapy, which I love 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 to have there because it's so cute and then over here is where I'm storing all my long arm stuff um, just the pins and the rulers and stuff like that and then here's my long arm and there's a t-shirt quilt that I did with the minky that I'm getting ready to finish up because it is now done you can see the design on it super cute and very heavy and very warm. And then, that's our workout room. <laughs> so that's changed a bit. And then let's take a walk over here. And here I have my sublimation printer. So I've really gotten into sublimation and I'm doing a lot of um, sublimation sales in my new store at Painted Tree. So what I did with this Epson, this is the 4810. This is just a regular Epson EcoTank printer, and it comes with its own ink, but you don't put your own ink in here. You buy the sublimation ink, and that is what you put in here. And I do use the Hippo sublimation ink. I have had no complaints. I absolutely love it. I'm also using the um, HTV Rot sublimation paper, which I find it works the best if you've watched any of my tutorials on the um, auto tumbler press or this heat press, automatic heat press, then you know that I am a big fan of the HTV Rot products. Um, I just find that they sublimate very, very well and I don't have any issues with the color. It's always very, very vibrant. So then I still have my cute little table here with my Hello Kitty um, cutouts for my drawers. And I am seriously thinking about changing those because I'm just ready for a change. So someday when I get some extra time, I'm going to change those. <laughs> And then I have moved my Cricut over here onto this table. And the reason that I've done this is because I have a, a power outlet over here. So it just makes sense because then I can just keep my Cricuts, you know, I can plug them in when I need to. Um, and I don't have to pick them up and move them over to my cut table to use them. So this is where my Cricuts are. It's my laptop. Got some... Uh, interfacing that you know I just put it there so here's my drink <laughs> my brewmate cup that I love more Cricut stuff so that's my Cricut mug press up there um, that one presses the larger mugs coffee mugs um, I also have the HTV Ront auto tumbler heat press which I love 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 and I do my 20 ounce um, skinny tumblers on that and I also do coffee mugs on there but I do them smaller scales so like the 12 ounce and then I can do two at one time I got my latest um, dime the hoop uh, a hoop mat and the snap guide, and I can't wait to show you guys that. More HTV rot stuff. So that might look a little bare. I did decorate for Christmas. If you follow me on 
social media, you probably saw my video, <laughs> my little short of all of my little Christmas gadgets down here. They're pretty cute. Let me keep going so you can see them. I feel like they get hidden, you know? Got my little gingerbreads down here. These are actually ornaments, but I just thought they were so cute, so I put them there instead of on my tree. Lots of cute stuff. So, I've got everything decorated down here, but I have nothing decorated upstairs. If you'll remember, we made these this pillow, I believe, last year. Believe in the Magic of Christmas. We did that with cork and then fabric on the back. Um... The Janome is gone, so yes, I was able to get her sold along with the table and everything else, and I have already ordered the next table for that because this is what I have here now in its place. And yes, that is the Bernina 770QE, and that is the Tula Pink edition of that machine. And I don't know if I told you, but I that machine only has 29,000 stitches on it. And so it's basically a brand new machine. So couldn't go wrong there. What's really changed, though, since we've last done a little tour here is this sewing cabinet that I have now for my brother dream machine. And <clears throat> this is the mod X Aero Mod XL, and it is the electric lift. So if you press this little button here, you will be able to make it go up and down. So I love this. So that is the um, embroidery arm. That's where I'm storing that for now. And then, as you can see, this is just a flat piece. So, you know, it makes sewing so much easier because it's completely flat to sew with. So I love that. And then that has the table that extends in the back. So I'll walk you over here. They close, sorry, they close back in. They're being held by the magnetic closure here that's underneath. And so it'll go back down and then it becomes a space saver type of, of table. I got new pink chairs in here. These are so much more comfortable to sit in and sew on. Um, I have these all linked in my Amazon store. And then I got this one. This is actually supposed to be my long arm quilting stool because sometimes I get really sore just standing there. So I just thought this was a really cute chair. So that's, that's where that's at. And I moved my serger over here. So that made it a little bit easier for me because I was able to store it here. And then when I want to use it, I can just move it over to my um, cutting table and set it down there and continue to go. Although now that I have another new cabinet coming, I might be able to use that as well for it. So I know it's not a whole lot, but there's just been a few changes down here. <laughs> And uh, I hadn't realized how much it had changed until my niece came over the other day and she was like, whoa, things have moved. So, and I have been cleaning things out. I've been trying to get rid of, um, like I, I gave all my Cricut vinyl to my niece because she loves Cricut. Um, but I still have in my Etsy store, I still have those fabric kits on sale in there. So make sure you check that out. Um, what else do I have? Lots of projects that have to be done before Christmas. That's what I have. So I am, I still need to finish this t-shirt quilt. I have to do a full size quilt, um, for a friend. And then I have three handbags that I need to get all done before Christmas and a coffee mug. <laughs> so, and, you know, stocking my store and all that stuff too. So, um, 
yeah, that's really about it. I haven't really been up to too much other than working really hard and, uh, you know, just hanging in there, living the dream, <laughs> just like everybody else. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really about it. Um, I'm not even ready for the holidays. Usually by now I've gotten most of the stuff purchased and everything. I just, uh, got my youngest grandson's stuff today. I ordered it and I still have to order for my older grandson and, um, my kids and my husband and family, <laughs> uh, there, there's nothing. So I need to get on it and get things done, but I have been so insanely busy. Um, the new cabinet that is coming, I do want to tell you that, is called the Krista cabinet, also by Aero. It is, it is very large, and I am really excited to get these cabinets in here so I can just start sewing away um, <clears throat> on my new Bernina and then also on my brother because you know, I haven't been able to really sit down and quilt for a while, honestly. I've been really busy with some other things. So I am feeling, I am feeling that and I really need to be able to, to do something that's relaxing to me. So, um, I don't know if you're aware, but every month the Fat Quarter Shop has a monthly, um, sewing box. It's called the Sew Sampler. And I get that, I subscribe to that, and I love it because I always get all these neat little gadgets and treat type things. And then you get, um, you get fabric and you get notions and you get the patterns and they are just, they're phenomenal. So I really like that. Um, what else was I gonna tell you? Oh, Aggie Quilt. Okay, so I don't know if you know this, but um, because I'm a big fan of Aggie Quilt, as you know, I use Aggie Quilt to cut all my fabrics. Um, Aggie Quilt. And yes, I got another Aggie Quilt so I could demonstrate for you on it. I got the Ready Set Go, and I also have the Big Go Electric, and I have the Studio 2, and I have the Go Me, which is the baby little one. So I have all four and I'm going to show them to you, but um, not today, but I will show you in videos upcoming. But if you have a Go Me or a Ready, Set, Go, you can actually, um, AccuQuilt has a trade-in program and you should definitely look into that because they will allow you to trade up. Um, they'll give you a certain amount towards your, your trade-in and then you do have to pay the difference but i'm telling you it's a pretty good deal i actually did it i traded in my go me for the ready set go so that i could show you guys how that works because i already have another go me so i had two of them so i just i just traded it in and um so i love to use my accu quilts for scrap cutting too so you know if you make a lot of scrappy quilts, I'm telling you, it will save you time and it will save your hands. So um, uh, something else I wanted to let you know is that I have changed the way my links are listed in the description box. So now I have one link for you to click on and it has all the links to all of my affiliate um, what I want to say it has all my affiliate links in there. So you click on the link tree link and it'll bring up a, a list of my, who I work with and you can click on those and it'll take you directly to those stores and you can purchase that way. Now I have to, I have to tell you that I am an affiliate and I do work with these companies. And, um, if you make a purchase with my link, I do make a small commission on that. So but all commissions that I make always go in to provide more content and that sort of stuff for the channel. So just so you know. Well, I feel like I'm kind of rambling on, but I have missed you and I hope that you are all healthy and doing well. And I thank you guys for tuning in today. And if you would like to follow me, you know the 
the social media links are down below in the description box. You can also access those through my Linktree link. Um, if you would like to get notified each and every time that I upload an awesomely cool new video, you'll need to click that bell and turn on your notifications. And if you'd like to shop, you know, those shopping links are down below in the description box as well under the Linktree link. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.